So what I want to show you is how to properly shut down and clean out the spray system. Um, this is assuming that you've had it set up and you've been spraying your furniture for a while, but uh, it's really important that we clean it out really, really well because if we leave that uh, catalyzed lacquer in the lines, it could gum it up. It'll definitely gum up the gun and damage the equipment. So you have to be careful that we do this properly. So inside the cabinet here um, are all the directions for setup and shutdown of the system. Um, step by step, it's all there, but uh, I wanted to show you so that you could actually see the process of what it looks like when you do it. So it's important that you be wearing all your proper safety equipment. Um, you definitely always need to have a respirator on in here. It's, it's volatile chemicals that we're using, so it's bad for your lungs. It's a carcinogen. Uh, you're going to want safety glasses because if you get squirted in the eye with the thinner or the lacquer, um, it's really going to burn. And anytime you're handling the fluids, uh, you should have a pair of gloves on as well. So you've finished doing your spraying and now it's time to clean out your gun. First thing you're going to do is um, take the cap off, the air cap off, the air horns, uh, and inside is a fluid tip. That has to come out should just pop out and then put that along with the air cap into the lacquer bath to let it soak. The fluid tip's going to stay in there all the time whenever you're not spraying. The air cap's in there now just to uh, soften up the lacquer that's on it so we can clean it off. After that you need to turn down your air supply to zero psi. and your fluid supply down to 15 PSI so we can clean out the system. I'm going to lift up the wand and drain out all the lacquer that I can get out of the wand now um, just so I'm not getting it into the thinner. And Once it's stopped running uh, it should be ready to go into the thinner pot. Stops dripping throw it into the thinner pot and you're ready to flush. Now we're ready to start flushing the lacquer out. So you can see here that I'm flushing the lacquer back into the lacquer container. It's coming out like syrup. Nice straight stream. And then it'll switch over to thinner here in a sec and start to spit and sputter and come out more in a spray. At that point, switch over to your thinner, rinse it for another 15 or 20 pumps or seconds and then you're done. The last thing you need to check is that the piston's at the bottom of its stroke before you shut it down for good. This will keep the seals all well lubricated. So if you're uh, cleaning out the tip of the gun, we've got two main parts. We've got uh, the air cap and we've got the fluid tip. And this is where the lacquer uh, and the thinner actually come out. So sometimes we need to give it a good clean. The fluid tip here, anytime it's not being used, whenever the gun's not being used, the fluid tip um, has to stay in the lacquer bath, or the lacquer thinner bath, so that uh, it doesn't gum up. You may have to clean uh, the tip, the air horns here. There's a lot of small holes in here that need to be cleaned sometimes. So just a, a brush and a little bit of lacquer thinner will clean all the, the built up um, lacquer that may have been on there from the finishing process when you were spraying. Check the inside too and making sure that there's no gummed up uh, dried lacquer in there too. You can, you can get in with the brush and give it a good, a good scrub. You should do this every time you shut the system down and if you're spraying all day checking it you know every hour or so to make sure that it's not too plugged up on the inside. If there's uh, a lot of buildup of lacquer uh, or if you've left lacquer thinner or lacquer in the system, you may have to actually get in with a, with a toothpick and clean, clean it out of these holes here and making sure that the air can flow through properly.